Hey guys, what is up? It's Gabby. Welcome back to the channel. Today we have another Lululemon haul of things I picked up for the summertime. I am so excited to share all of these pieces with you because they are just so cute and Lululemon has been coming out with some really good finds lately. It is going to be a smaller haul than I normally do and that is because this is actually the last haul I'm going to be doing with this background in this house because we are moving very very soon so I wanted to get everything filmed for you and all of the items on my clothing rack shared with you before I have to pack them up to move but I'm very excited to bring you along for all of the moving vlogs setting up my new lululemon closet in the new house so be sure to subscribe i will be trying on everything in this video and i will have everything linked down below in the description as well in case you want to shop any of the items that i shared today and thank you so much if you do decide to shop with those links it really does help support my channel here but without further ado let's jump into this haul Okay, the first thing I got is a new pair of Restfield slides. I did have these in Misty Pink in a size six. However, I did outgrow those in pregnancy, so I needed a new pair of slides for the summer. These are super easy just to throw on if you're just like running out, hanging out outside or anything. I wouldn't necessarily like walk anywhere in these per se but they are really nice like casual summer sandal and they are super comfy for me especially in this size up i did find with the size six that it kind of pinched at the top of the sandal a little bit for me like when i walked around so i could really only wear them with socks to make them like comfy but i feel like sizing up one size really helped with that and i don't find that they pinch anymore there's like more room kind of underneath the band here but i love the material it's soft it's squishy i feel like it has a good amount of like foam these are super cute. I went with black because it's just a neutral color and I feel like it goes with everything. It's timeless. It's a classic. So I really wish they had a light purple or light blue color in the slides. I feel like I would definitely want to grab a pair of those if they come out with such color, but you can't go wrong with black. So that is the first thing I picked up. The next thing I have here is actually a brand new item and Lululemon did send this to me. So thanks so much to Lululemon and thanks so much to you guys for supporting me here in this community. I definitely would not be getting a PR package from Lululemon if it wasn't for you. So thank you. But this is the new everywhere crossbody bag with metal hardware. This is honestly so cute and I love the design of this. So obviously it does have a crossbody strap. You could remove it if you'd like but this part is adjustable, which is great. And then it has kind of the little elastic to hold down the strap. I feel like this does look more elevated than the classic belt bag, which I like because I do have the crossbody with Nano. However, I just feel like, I don't know, I don't love the shape of this one where this is a little bit more sleek looking. So I feel like this is going to be perfect for date night if I want something a little bit more elevated because I do find the belt bags look quite sporty and athleisure. So if you're looking for a more like elevated look, I think that this would be a really nice accessory to pair with that. So the bag has two pockets. The front pocket here has two little mesh compartments for easy organization and access. Then the larger pocket back here pretty much looks like a belt bag inside. So it does have the one zippered pocket at the back and then the two mesh pockets as well. But here's what that looks like, the little Lululemon logo in there. This bag overall is two liters in volume, which I actually really like. It does give me more room than the Everwear belt bag one liter, obviously, but I feel like the two liter belt bag is just too big when it sits kind of on my chest. But because this is on the side, I feel like this is a much better, like, space and i like that it's split between two pockets as well it also does have a back kind of drop-in pocket for easy access i like to put my phone in here as well so that is the details on the everywhere crossbody bag i think that this is going to be a perfect like summer staple to throw all of my essentials in because now that i don't need the new parent backpack all the time i find myself kind of gravitating towards just a smaller bag again so absolutely love this it fits everything that i need my keys wallet phone etc so let me know if you guys want me to do a what's in my bag video because i can definitely do that with this bag now that i've hauled it i'm going to put all of my stuff in it right after this video all right and the last sort of accessory thing are the under ease 
high-rise bikinis. I feel like they've kind of gone away with their high-rise undergarments and that's really a shame because I feel like those are my favorite to go with the high-rise leggings. I've never actually tried the under -ease. Usually I'm an Invisiwear girly, so I wanted to try these out. I did get these on marked down in the color Silver Drop, Strawberry Milkshake, and Black, so nice neutral colors. I'll let you guys know how I like these, but that is the next thing I picked up. All right, and finally, moving on to clothes. I feel like I have a lot of skirts to share with you, so let's get into it. The first one I have here is the lightweight tennis skirt. This is honestly my favorite skirt right now from Lululemon. They have so many colors in it, and I just love the way that it sits and the silhouette of this. It's kind of more of a A-line skirt, I guess you could say, but it does have a little bit of flow to it, which I like. I think this is going to be perfect for golf and just like casual day-to-day -day wear. I did a whole skirts breakdown video, so be sure to go check that out because it will have a lot more in-depth detail about all of the skirts that I'm showing you. But it does have the interior draw cord here. It does have the built-in shorts underneath with two side drop-in pockets, as well as the kind of sticky grip liner on the shorts so that they don't move around too much when you are moving in them, which I love. I do get a size four in this. This is the color Lilac Ether, which again, I feel like it's just my color right now. I love the pastels, especially pastel purple. So I'm absolutely obsessed with this. I've been waiting to haul it so I can finally wear it and for the weather to get nicer. This is just so cute. I do believe it went on markdown. So I don't know if this color is still available now, but there's tons of other colors on the website. I really want to pick up the black one just as like a staple because I did sell my Pace Rival one. So stay tuned for a future haul because I might pick that one up as well. The next skirt I have here to show you is the Align skirt. I feel like these really blew up on TikTok and social media and for good reason. I think that they are really cute. When I first tried it on, I was a little bit skeptical. This is only a 13 inch inseam, which it is a little bit short. I will say it's not the most conservative length, but I feel like it does work for like day-to-day -day things. Obviously it's the Align skirt, so it's made of that buttery soft Nulu material. Would not recommend working out in this one. I would not recommend playing tennis or even golf because I think that this one would snag very easily. It's kind of more just an everyday casual skirt, maybe a light walk in it or something. But otherwise, I think that this is really, really cute. I do get a size four in this. However, if you do have more of a muscular build in the glute area, I do recommend sizing up one because of the shorter length. I do believe the shorts in here are only a three inch inseam. So they are definitely shorter and they do have the side drop in pockets. For this one, it does not have the sticky grip liners in here because again, it's made for kind of more of a casual wear, not really meant for something like high intensity working out. So I don't find that the shorts move around too much for me. Overall, I really like this skirt. They have a ton of different colors in it as well. The black color sold out immediately. So I did go with True Navy, which I feel like is another great neutral color staple for skirts. It pairs well with a lot of items and I just feel like it's a cute summer staple. All right, the next skirt I have for you is the high-rise pleated tennis skirt. I was not planning on keeping this one after my skirts video, but I did fall in love with it. So I decided to keep it. I just love the little pleat detailing on this one. Again, I feel like it's super trendy and in right now, but also would make a great golf skirt. So I wanted something a little bit more neutral. So I went with navy again, because I feel like in the black one, you couldn't really see the pleats that much. Where in the navy, you could see the pleats a little bit more, which I really like. So again, for this one, it just does not have the interior draw cord. It kind of has more of a smooth elastic waistband, which I really like. I feel like this one sits really nice against my body, but it does have the built-in shorts with the drop-in pockets as well. And then the sticky grip liners underneath here so that it won't move around on you. I feel like this one's definitely a little bit more flowy than the other two skirts, but not like super flowy. I don't know. I just really love kind of the wider pleat look, like not super wide, but it's a little bit wider than the varsity pleated tennis skirt. So I just thought that this one looked really nice. It kind of rivaled like an aloe skirt. I think that's really popular right now or the one at like Aritzia. You know that I'm a Lululemon girly through and through. So I had to try this one. I actually really like it. I can't wait to wear it in the summer. Hopefully now that the weather is going to get warmer. This one is high rise. I believe this one is also a 13 inch inseam length as well. And then the shorts underneath are three and a half inch 
length. So again, a little bit more on that shorter side, but for me, I don't think it's like too short. I am 5'2". I feel like it depends kind of on your personal inseam and your own proportion. Definitely take that into account. I find that it's really hard to base off of like height because my height could be different from your height in terms of like leg length. Maybe you have a longer torso. Maybe I have a longer torso. I don't really know. If that reference helps, then I am 5'2", and I feel like it's not too short, but I definitely would not be going to any formal event in this skirt. All right, the next item I have here, I am super excited to share with you. I know that this sold out so quickly, but I really hope Blue Lemon brings out other colors in it, and that is the Align Cami Strap Dress. I was not a huge fan of the original Align Dress. I just don't love the V-neck kind of cut to it, but this one has more of a scoop neck. I love the thinner straps on this, but it's basically the same as the Align Dress. So this is the color Windmill, and I did go with a size 4, which I feel like is a true to size for me because I am a 4 in the Align Tank and the Align Shorts. So for me, fits true to size. If you maybe are a different size, I would go with whatever size is on the top because I feel like that is more important that the band is um, fits you comfortably. So for me, I thought that this dress was so cute. I absolutely love the cutout detail in the back. It is just so, so pretty. It has a little logo right here. And then underneath, it does have the kind of built-in shorts to it. I can show you. It's kind of hard to see, but you'll be able to see better in the try-on. It does have the built-in shorts. No, like, grippies on the end of the shorts, so keep that in mind. It does have the side drop-in pockets. A really neat feature about this one, though, is that it's open in the back, so technically you could go to the bathroom by just, like, pulling this down, which is kind of a nice feature, actually. The cami strap style is definitely a lot better than the regular Align Dress style. I know that this one in Windmill is sold out currently. This is the color Windmill, which I believe is no longer available on the site, but they do have a couple other colors. I think there are some sizes left, but hopefully we see more colors coming soon because this is just such a cute summer dress. Also, because I'm still nursing, I do find it easy enough to kind of just like pop a strap down and still nurse. I probably wouldn't wear this in public to nurse, but at home it's completely fine. With the thinner straps, I find it like easy just to kind of maneuver as well. So that definitely works for like nursing wise, I guess, in case you are wondering. But for me, this is so, so cute. I can't wait to wear this all summer. I've already worn it. If you watch my Mother's Day vlog, this was my Mother's Day outfit. So cute, so comfy. I believe this is actually the last thing I have to share with you. And these are the Wonder Train High Rise Tight 25 inches in the Psychedelic Wash Multi. These are so fun, you guys. I know that they are very bold and bright, but I feel like it's been a long time since Lululemon has come out with a cute kind of wash pattern like this, and I feel like that this just pairs with so much in my closet. I had to grab these, but I will say that they are a little bit bold to be an everyday tight. They are definitely going to be a workout only type of tight. So I hope that these motivate me to get back into the gym and start training again because they are just so, so fun. I love kind of the pastel -y wash to them. And now each one is different because they are like dyed. So no two pairs are exactly the same, which I feel like is kind of fun and unique about them. They did come out with a matching energy bra and a Swiftly. I think the Swiftly still in stock, but I know that the Wonder Trains and Energy Bra sold out so quickly. So I did find these in store and I had to grab them. I would recommend sizing up one size because of the wash. I do find it a little bit tighter than normal. So I did go with a size six in these where I'm normally a four in Wonder Trains. I do find that they are maybe a little bit big in the waist, but they do have the draw cord in here. So you could always cinch that up a little bit, which is helpful. I'm so excited to get back into the gym and be able to wear these for workouts and training. And if I ever had an 80s party to go to, I know what I'm wearing. But if you are new to my channel or unfamiliar with Lululemon products, the Wonder Trains are actually their fastest drying fabric. They're made from a fabric called Everlux, which is kind of a dual sensation. So they're going to be kind of soft on the outside, but sleek on the inside. One thing I really like about these tights is that sometimes when they do a kind of wash or dye, the inside is white. So like when they are stretched over your leg, sometimes you can see the white liner underneath so that they're not see-through. But 
These ones are actually still tie-dye inside. So when they're on, you can't like just see the white underneath. It's still like colorful, which is amazing. And I actually really liked that detail of it. Plus, if you want to like roll up the cuff a little bit, then it's going to be like a tie-dye inside, which I thought was really, really cute and a great subtle detail. I feel like that maybe some people wouldn't notice necessarily, but for me, I thought that was a great addition to these tights in terms of design. And that brings us to the end of this haul and everything I have picked up from Lululemon recently. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I have so much more Lululemon kind of home content coming for you guys, organizing my new office, setting up my new Lululemon closet. So be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're notified when I post new videos and of course we're probably gonna have more hauls in the new house so I'm so excited to share that all with you very very soon but let me know down below in the comments what are your summer staples from lululemon thanks so much for watching and I will see you in my next video bye guys <laughs>